I'm Esther Boykin, Licensed Management Family Therapist and CEO at Group Therapy Associates. And I'm Erica Turner, Resident in Marriage and Family Therapy at Group Therapy Associates. And today we're going to talk about sex. <laughs> yes. Very popular topic for a couples therapists to be talking Absolutely. about sex. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's dive into some of our most common questions. Yes. So one of the big things that we see a lot, both professionally and with friends and family and everyone in the real world. <laughs> um, friends and family always therapy. like to ask us about <laughs> right. therapy things. Well. <laughs> um, is sort of mismatched sex drives. So that comes up a lot. And I think there is this misconception that like that only a few people are struggling with that or that it's not a very common problem, but it's a very common problem. My philosophy is if you are in a committed relationship, having sex, it is either currently a problem, it was a problem, or it's about to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and, and that's no matter how happy or unhappy you are in your relationship. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's mismatched because there's some other issues going on, but right. it's also mismatched because you're two human beings with differing sex drives and different stress levels and busy schedules. And there's just lots of reasons why you're not always going to be in sync. So it's, right. Absolutely. I think it is by far one of the most common issues and probably one of the least talked about outside of us therapists. Right. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. One, I think there's some assumption that, you know, I don't know if you love each other enough or if your relationship is strong enough, you won't have that issue. And I think like you're to attracted just... to each other. Therefore it won't be an issue. Right. And let's just dispel that right now. Like yeah. you can totally love your partner and be in a good place with them and still be struggling with the sex piece. I, I certainly yeah. think that's... I think that's very true. I think it's... And a lot of times it's more true than we believe, you know, which is hard. It, when your sex drives are not in sync, it feels very rejecting. Right. Absolutely. Um, in part because we don't know how to talk about it. We are obviously very interested in this issue, so much so that we have created an event called Not Tonight, Dear, which is a conversation about couples dealing with uh, mismatched sex drives or incongruent sex drives or however you want to call it, mm -hmm. basically trying to get on the same page sexually. Yeah. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. Let's talk about Not Tonight, Dear. There's a couple of key questions people always want to ask. I think the first one we've already answered, which is, so why are we doing it in the first place? Which is because sex matters. Mm -hmm. Sex is an important part of being close in your relationship, and we want to help couples. And, and every couple experiences that issue. Right. Um, the biggest concern I hear is, will my partner be honest? Yeah. So, obviously, there's no guarantees. <laughs> We're not in charge of them. We can't mess up. We can't what? make them. We can't. We don't have a magical therapy bag to make people talk. I we think people almost, think we do. I know, but we <laughs> almost do. I will say this. We are, this is not our first rodeo. No. We're fairly yeah. experienced couples therapists. And so we're pretty good at helping people get comfortable, even with topics that are traditionally so private um, mm -hmm. or so awkward or uncomfortable to talk about. And so when we do Not Tonight, Dear, we do, we have, you know, we can't give it all away, but we definitely have some approaches and some exercises and activities that we'll do that will make it that much more comfortable for everybody to be really honest and, like, get real in these conversations. Um, and also some opportunities to share some things more anonymously right. and then open that conversation up so that you don't always have to raise your hand and say, so <laughs> I want it seven days a week. Like, you don't you have to do it once that. a month, and I want it seven <laughs> days a week. I mean, you can do that, but we, we would won't love it you. if you did. We certainly won't make you. No, but we will definitely have some ways for that to, to open the floor so that we're still talking about those things. Um, right. Well, what, it's not tonight, dear, is about having fun, which is... Yeah, I mean, all of our events, I, I think for us, you know, we sort of talk about all these, is these issues every day, so they don't seem threatening or scary to us yeah. they just seem like you know Tuesday yeah. um so we try to bring a little bit of that into the event where it's like yes this is a serious thing yes this is an important thing but this is also something that you can come at with some levity with some laughter yes. with some fun maybe with a glass of wine just to sort of you know open that conversation up and make it feel more natural more comfortable I mean that's the whole goal therapy not that we do sort of 
you know, serious imposing therapy with you forever, but that we get you to a point where you feel comfortable talking about yeah. these things and that you feel, you know, able to express yourself about these things. So yes. that's a lot of our work as therapists anyway. So yeah. we are happy to bring that to the event table. Absolutely. So we bring those skills and, and, and a playfulness. And like you said, I think it's about having fun. So um, Not Tonight Dear, much like all of our conversations off the couch events, uh, is an opportunity to come in and be social and feel casual and have a glass of wine or a beer and some snacks um, and and just be honest with other couples who share your commitment to making your relationship better. Right. So where, whatever stage you're at, wherever things are for you, the couples who come to our events have decided that keeping that their relationship on the right track and, and bringing out the best in each other um, is an important priority and so we like to bring you together and do it in a way that feels fun and so that you go home that's that is our guarantee you will go home having had fun um, and with at least one new tool to help you talk more about sex and say right. something other than not tonight dear <laughs> and if you can't bring your partner or if you can't bring yourself to that's bring your, your partner, partner then of course you can come on your own or with a friend and absolutely we're, we're still sharing that information so it's still something that you can definitely take home with you um and maybe begin to have hopefully an open yes. conversation with your partner about um so yeah we are so excited about it and we're looking forward to seeing people come out yeah it'll be great so come on so don't say not tonight dear come on <laughs> out tonight and hang out with us right and, and have a little bit of fun